Casey Key has a rich history. It used to be inhabited by the Seminole Indians until Army Captain John Casey was assigned the task of removing them from Chase's Key, as it was known then, in the late 1840s. The name was changed by accident when John Casey's name appeared on one of his survey maps in 1856. Later, in the 1920s, during one of Florida's many real estate booms, the name was changed to Treasure Island to increase the land sales. The locals, however, didn't like that and promptly changed it back to Casey Key. The majority of Casey Key's settling began in the 1920s with small beach houses and cottages, but then in the 1950s after the war and America's blossoming love affair with the automobile, a few smart entrepreneurs built some mom and pop motels on the key. One that survives today, along with the charm from that era, is the Gulf Surf Motel, now surrounded by multi-million dollar gated mansions. This is where Jill's dad has escaped the cold Ohio winters every February for the past many years. Adding to that nostalgic charm is that Jim and several other people, they rent the same rooms for the suites every February. And in the evening, everyone gathers outside of the courtyard for snacks, wine, and to watch the beautiful sunsets. Of those that Jill and I remember or stand out, there's Stan, a really friendly guy who is just a wealth of information on the area, and Mary Jane, who is an Air Force veteran and makes delightful crafts from seashells like picture frames and birdhouses. She and her friend Dale, they both have husbands buried at Arlington. Also this year, Jill's sister Julie and husband Carl spent some time with us at the surf. <laughs> 